pushes up and as you can see what happens is it turns a misting system on all right so in the uh, commercial world we actually do have sprinklers and stuff like that to as a last resort if uh you need a part the condenser is getting way too hot during heat waves you know stuff like that it is not for efficiency and if you don't believe the many hvac techs that have already roasted this video uh, here are a couple comments from people who actually bought the product and actually reported back after using it And I will give Dave some credit because he did mention a water filter. You will need filtration to help your uh, hard water, all that kind of stuff. But this is geared towards homeowners. How often does a homeowner change their own air filter or any other water filters in their house? Um, refrigerators, you know, things like that. Also, just take into consideration the uh, environment. So in our area, there's... I live less than two hours away from the coast. And if you're any of that, you know, the, the states that are by the coast or anything like that close enough, you guys know that any equipment will rot out without the help of any water. So just know your environment. I think the only place people were saying that this could work in is in a very dry heat if you have humidity if you have uh salt water if you have all this uh other conditions that's what's going to screw this up the only thing that i've seen that can give your ac a break at all is just obviously maintenance getting getting somebody to do maintenance rinsing off your own coil if you just want to rinse it out every month or every couple months a lot of houses usually build the ac unit on the east side to where the house will naturally shade it during the hottest time of the day but it's not covering it or anything like that and just making sure everything's sealed right the uh, building science the envelope um heat infiltration that kind of stuff all right so i'm trying to keep this short i've been trying to figure out how to how to word this i'm not trying to come after any channel in particular any go at war with any of the diy channels anything like that i actually know some of them i've talked to them before it's just, you know, I've never had an issue with their content up until, you know, recently, kind of. Anybody me mechanically inclined is a DIY person at heart, right? You work on your car, house, um, you fix things around, around for your kids or yourself. I used to fix phones. I never went anywhere to pay to get a screen replaced. I always fix my own uh, phone screens, iPad screens, all that stuff. But recently, a lot of this content is kind of clickbaity, kind of contradictory of like what you know what they say hvac is a scam um it gets a little bit out of hand the way social media is right now uh it just takes one video to hit and that uh narrative just takes off right i understand that there's bad apples there is bad apples in every industry it could be plumbing electric electricians it could be uh mechanics it could be uh your grocery store it could be a gas station, you're getting price gouged everywhere, right? It's not just the HVAC um, industry. I do not condone any of that. Um, always get other opinions or ask around. If you guys are on social media seeing this stuff, you can go to Instagram, even TikTok, YouTube, and ask some of the HVAC content creators uh, what their thoughts are. There's a plenty of them out there that are actually giving um educational content and they can answer your question is like you know is this gonna is this gonna like even the mr thing they can answer you if that's gonna work i did mine tim distagio has also done his he's an educational type of person uh that's his content <clears throat> he's very smart so you can go look at his comments and see what he thinks and people think about it i'm not super smart on this stuff either i just i just fix things um but the, the sub cooling and all this other stuff gets affected by throwing water on there. It's not an energy efficient type of deal in the commercial world. I've only seen it as a last resort. Like I said, in the previous clip, um, heat waves, a motors out, you can get one, you know, stuff like that. And with a lot of these, um, videos that they do where they point out a scam or something, they never go and go back and compare it to what it should be normally right 
they're they're charging you a thousand dollars when it's a ten dollar part, but they don't tell you. They just use that that difference right there, thousand dollars versus ten dollars. Oh my god, they're not giving you the the in between as what a real contractor charges, right? What does it cost to get a van out there? What does it cost labor wise? What does it cost, you know, for X, Y, and Z? I buy, you know, US made stuff. I, I've been buying the AMRAD stuff. It costs a little bit more because it's made different. Um, not every, in that instance, not every capacitor is made the same. These DIY channels are a dime a dozen. And these videos that I've seen, especially on the mixture, because that's what's trending right now. Before it was like the umbrella that you put on the, on the AC unit. Um, that video is like copy and paste everywhere I've seen. They all do the same thing, right? They put a probe in the vent. They go put the mister on and they go back to the probe. And oh my God, it's dropped a, a degree or something or half a degree on one of them I saw. Do you not know how, how uh, air conditioning works? It continuously conditions the air, right? If you put a, a probe in a vent, no matter how long it's been there, it's going to gradually drop in temperature, right? So in, in those instances, they're going to set it to a lower, a lower set point to whatever it was. Over time, you're going to get a half degree every so often dropping. Whether you had the mister on or not, the only... The only proof would have been if that thing dropped five or six degrees, like in a, in a short amount of time, like in minutes, that, that would have proved something. But if uh, you didn't even put the mister on, if you hadn't done that, you put a probe on your vent, you're going to see the temperature drop over time. It's going to be the same exact, you know, result. There's the whole thing about your environment. My environment is, I'm not on the coast, but we still get rust and rot and all that from salt water. That gradually makes its way over here. We have a lot of humidity. Again, they tell you that it does this and that to save you money, but they don't tell you the cons of it. They don't tell you, oh, if you live by the coast, oh, if you live two hours away from the coast, uh, watch out for this or that. If you have high humidity in your area, it could do this or it might not work. They don't tell you all that, or they don't tell you over time that that water can cause damage to the metal metal is you know it, it's not meant to have water on it all the time something could happen so i just don't like the the all the pros and no cons on their on their stuff and then when it's when they talk about an hvac contractor it's all cons and no pros right it's just the way it goes and then the and then the the people defending the water the sprinkler and saying oh it's it's meant to be outside right you get rain uh, you don't worry about it. More contradicting, right? Because it's like, well, the unit is meant to be outside, like you said. So why do you have to aid it in anything? Why do you have to help it? It's meant, designed to be outside and work outside in the sun. Why are you trying to cool it off? They're designed to be outside. That's the bottom line. They're they're designed to do what they do. How If they're installed properly, all that stuff. Why do you need to add anything to that system, right? There's there's no point. And then funny enough, you know, they they have the same thing. They're DIY. They want you to do you're going to their channel to, to figure out or learn how to do something yourself. And they're gonna feed into that until you don't get a contractor because they're just gonna charge you for this or they're just gonna do this, they're gonna rip you off. And then they turn around and try to sell you this piece of you know, uh product flimsy as hell does not do anything like i said for energy efficiency this and that and they're like oh the contractor's just trying to sell on sell you on this trying to make a profit trying to get some money in their pocket and they're doing the same exact thing they're pushing that product right and one of them told me that they're not twisting anybody's arm or anything like that it doesn't matter your audience is people taking your word and if they hear you say oh it does all this this and this and there's no cons whatsoever they're gonna buy it because of you and those comments that i showed earlier are people that bought it didn't work they didn't like it they were upset and there's plenty more comments like that and the only way that that would have convinced me is like i said if it dropped drastically a few degrees or you would have to to 
test it on like two different days, same exact conditions though, same exact temperatures and see, did it really like drop the temperature that much? Or, you know, what happens after you supposedly get the temperature down and you take off the mister? Does the temperature go back up? I don't know. We'll never know because I don't show that part. If you guys have any questions or, or thoughts on this topic, go right ahead. Like I said, I have no issue with these guys, but a lot of us do care. A lot of us are trying to help. That's just my two cents. I don't like uh, the narrative that gets put. And um, a lot of people are roasting that mister and plenty of other videos. And I'm don't wish bad on nobody, but I love seeing those videos because it's like, you know, uh, any misinformation, bad information deserves to be roasted. <clears throat> and that is my two cents. I am not going to air any uh, dirty laundry or get too into it, but it is what it is.